Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this morning. Lots of similarities to what I was looking at yesterday afternoon in that update, but two storm systems through 3-4. Storm number one, which is basically 226-227, is still trending faster and weaker, but still robust with a lot of snow in a short amount of time. Wasatch, one to two feet, so that hasn't changed between the afternoon of 226 and the morning of 227, so it all comes down pretty quickly. 227 is going to be a big day. Tetons, 1 to 2 feet of snow between 226 and 227. Colorado, 10 to 20 inches, although some places they'll be on the lower side of that. Um, there are some places in northern Colorado that will be uh, above 20 inches between the afternoon of 226 and 227. Idaho, 4 to 14 inches, afternoon 225 into 226. Storm number two is looking very large, much bigger than storm number one at this point. Um, and that one happens between 229 and 34 with feet of accumulation. So we'll look at all that in this, uh, this morning update. Here's the water vapor satellite imagery this morning. So on this, your oranges and reds are your drier air. Your moisture loft is in whites and blues. And here's the next low approaching California. Like I said yesterday, this is going to take its time because really what it's waiting on is the main trough up here. And you can already see it coming to the south. You can already see this boundary right here. So what's going to happen is the two of them are being supported by different jets. There's your subtropical jet. Your northern branch is right up here. The two of them are going to come south. And there is going to be some merger here on 226, 227 over the Intermountain West. Not a lot, but enough to generate a period of very heavy snowfall. So that's the settle. Let me show you the jet stream. By 1130 tonight, that's what it looks like. You can see the two jets. And here's the merger starting to happen. Late 225. Here's 226. This will be a big day for snow through Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado, especially by the afternoon, evening hours. It all sort of comes together. You got the northern branch, you got the dip in the jet, southern branch bringing in the energy, and a, um, a period of a northwest flow, but also a period of a frontal boundary, really helping to focus some of that orographic lift. And here we are on 227, and then it's done by 228. So it, it is faster. You know, a few days ago, this storm looked like it would last all the way through 227 and early 228. That's not, that's not the case now. It's The low's a little too far to the north, and it all just moves through a little bit faster. Okay, now let's focus on the next storm. So you can already see it loading up in the northern branch. Look at the trough, the big dip coming down. This one sinks all the way into California. Looking at uh, major snowfall in the Sierra with like, over like two full days of snow in the Sierra with this thing. Lots of jet support, big time lift. Here we go on 3 2. It starts to move in, and here's the day 3 2, 3 3, 3 4 for big snow. Utah, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, all will see feet of accumulation. And during the course of this storm, the lifetime, there's going to be big snow through BC, Pacific Northwest, all of those areas. Um, here is the 3 4 forecast by the end of the day. You can still see a broad trough over the Intermountain West. All right, putting precip on all of this. So, any snowfall today is going to be up there in BC, Washington State. All right, Sunday in the morning, just waiting. Here it comes. Start to see everything come together. So here's 226. In the morning, the precip starts pretty light. Then it picks up, like I said, afternoon, evening into 227 in the morning. That's probably the period of heaviest snow for Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. You can see it here by 226. There's a frontal boundary coming south. That's the focal point for heaviest snow. Moves into Colorado into 227 in the morning. And then it blows through leftover snow by the end of the day. Dry on 228. All right, here comes the next storm system. Look at it sinking all the way to the south. Major snow through the Sierra, Oregon, Washington, B.C. throughout this time period. And it begins to uh, uh, thicken up in parts of Idaho with the Tetons and the Wasatch on 3-1, especially in the afternoon into 3-2. Look at the heavy snow. I mean, we're talking hours and hours of heavy snow here with the slow movement and the fact the low is digging pretty far to the south. Unlike storm number one, which kind of just blows through, this one's going to dig further to the south and slow down. Here we are on 3-3 end of day. Here's 3-4 still moving through Colorado. And there might be some additional energy even behind that. You can kind of see a little bit of rotation and some more blue behind it. All right, latest numbers. Here's what I'm forecasting today through tomorrow. Next 48 hours, 
We're looking at probably six, seven, eight, nine inches of snow up there in interior BC, quite a bit up in parts of Washington, um, and also a little bit in northern Idaho, northwest Montana. Period two. Here's the uh, here's storm number one, 226 through 228. One to two feet in the Wasatch, about a foot, foot and a half for the Tetons, probably about a foot and a half. I think my numbers are a little bit low for Jackson Hole and Grand Targhee. I probably would be closer uh, by this afternoon if I were to update these numbers to 15, 16, 17 inches. Um, in Colorado, looking at about 10 to 20, but again, there are some places below that, some above it. Um, look at the big numbers in the Pacific Northwest, Interior BC, Washington, Oregon, about a foot over Brundage and Schweitzer. Okay, now this is a really interesting period here. This is 229 through 34. This is storm number two. This is some serious, seriously heavy snowfall. And uh, if it pans out, would be one of the largest storms of the season. Um, but again, it's a long way out, but just, just giving you the idea of, of what I'm thinking right now. I mean, we could be looking at you know, five, six feet in the Sierra, three to four feet in the Wasatch, two feet across the Tetons, and obviously the numbers in Colorado would continue to go up, maybe even into three, five, but looking at one to two feet there, um, this is this is a period to watch for sure, because with the slow movement, the deeper trough, um, the more optimal position of the low, more energy, more focal uh, lifting, um, there, there just seems to be a lot going here. All right, one last stop into the northeast. Uh, pretty light snow, one to four inches, mainly on 228, and then again early in that first week of March. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this morning. Mountain weather update will end on this map. Storm number one, 226 into 228. You can see the numbers. This will be a nice period of major snowfall over a short amount of time. Thanks for tuning in here, guys. Always appreciate it. Have a great Saturday.